Oh, oh, hello there. Hi. Hi. You didn't see us behind these exclusive Star Wars Black Series toys. Um, toys. Toys. Um, toys. They're smaller versions of the people we know and have never met, such as science fiction legend Luke Skywalker. And his car. We've got so many awesome toys. So, okay, so um, let's start. Yeah, we've got a whole bunch of toys we're going to unbox here. We're going to play with them. Uh, this is all the stuff you can get exclusively at Comic-Con. If you're not here, we have it. If not, go on eBay yeah. and, you so, know, scalp. Really good news here, though, is Hasbro does a good thing where a lot of the kind of exclusive angle of their toys is either accessories or packaging or kind of a combination thereof. Yeah. Uh, let's start with the really, the really big thing yeah. here. Let's start um, with the big one. These are the first toys from Episode Eight, The Last Jedi. This is the first time we've gotten a Luke Skywalker in his crusty old man outfit or Rey in her new kind of like, you know, Jedi robes. Um, these are 50 bucks for the two of them. And the good news is I think they're going to be coming, they're going to be coming out on their own. Yeah, separately. definitely. Um, have to. So this is actually the first time we're seeing Luke in the old man costume you see at the end of uh, episode seven. He's got his robot hand. And Rey's got her new costume from episode eight, which is sort of like a darker gray Almost mm -hmm. heavier version than the one. She it's has like a it's like a kimono kind of thing. Yeah, um, it's really cool. Yeah, what's really cool is they did basically the same thing last year with uh, with Jin Erso, and it was kind of the same box. I feel like, you know, five years from now, if they keep up this steady clip of uh, of uh, you know unveiling Star Wars toys at Comic Con yep. and coming back to them, uh, it's going to be cool to have kind of like a wall of these. Uh, I think they understand that people who want to play with the toys probably hold out for the regular ones they sell in stores, uh, but they've got these cool like almost like kind of. Like Wall Street Journal. Oh my! What are you doing? You're opening the I'm toy. Opening the toy. What's look, wrong with you? Look, You're opening the toy. In pri this is prison. You have to break them out of prison. It's Han Solo who gets frozen in Ooh, car, I'm, but I'm, I'm Luke Skywalker. I'm holding Luke Skywalker. All right. So, uh, so I want to yeah. talk about the accessories real quick, or lack thereof. Uh, Ray actually comes with a lightsaber and a, a blaster. Uh, Luke doesn't come with anything. Not even like a sandwich. Like, what is he doing on this planet? What about those little porgies that we know about? So many questions. That's a cool noise. There um, we go. Yeah. So Ray looks really sad. She's kind, of, she's kind of got like a... Hey, how are you? It's hey. me, Luke Skywalker. Hey, I, uh, I had to find a map. It took a whole movie to find the map, and uh, <laughs> I was going to come visit, and you're just not even talking to me. So um, uh, on top of that, if you remember Luke back in his good days when he was uh, just chilling, we have this right here, which is the Land Speeder. It's $90. It comes with a Luke Skywalker action figure. Uh, I want to point out something real quick. This is, of course, the... This is, this... Ladies and gentlemen, don't do drugs. I was going to say before and after Comic-Con, but sure. Uh, no, these are, uh, this is cool. Basically, the Comic-Con exclusive angle of this is I think the detailing is better, uh, but this is going to come... <laughs> That's going to come out on its own later. Yep, and, uh, yep. you know, and that, I like that the hood opens up so you can reenact that scene from Tommy Boy. Yeah, so we've seen this Luke up. Skywalker before in the six-inch scale from Hasbro Black Series. They gave him a new sculpt on his head now, so he looks a little bit better. He's still got this weird kind of like, uh, he looks like he's at a soccer game and it's windy out. He's like, yay. Yep. Or he's like, you know, wind diving. Uh, this is really cool because the hood pops up. You can put little WD-40 cans in there like the movie Tommy Boy. It's a great film. You should watch it yeah. after Comic-Con. Uh, lastly, let's talk Thrawn. Yeah, so Grand Admiral Thrawn, uh, if you know your expanded universe, basically he came back in Heir to the Empire, one of the coolest kind of first expanded universe characters that really helped reestablish Star Wars. And then when kind of Disney came in and sort of removed all of the expanded universe stuff from canon, everyone was pretty bummed because he's a really cool character, had all this backstory stuff. But then they brought him back in Star Wars Rebels and gave him his own book. So for Comic-Con, they made this big, huge box set that is, uh, it's 50 bucks, it's like He's got all these artifacts. His whole deal is that he studies cultures by buying their art and analyzing their weaknesses, and that makes him a great Grand Admiral. Uh, but yeah, this figure will be sold by itself later on, but it won't come with all this, like, you know, all this hoarder stuff. Mm -hmm. all these I, I like antiques. this weird little, like, lizard closet he's got up there. Yeah. What's one thing, going on one with thing that? that's really cool is that I, I don't know what those are. There's some, some, some dumb artifacts, some collectible statue he probably bought here. Uh, but yeah, like, I love that for the Comic Con exclusive stuff, there's no, like, there's no plastic there, so you can, like, you can touch him. You can like, you know, I, you could probably take him out of the box and play with him, and then put him back. And not too back. difficult. I know, think so. that's the cool thing, right? Like yeah. we're always trying to find that balance between like how do you store a figure and uh, how do you pop it out. 